Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Autoglim have released a new product, the predecessor to their very popular HD Wax, which has been around for decades. The new product is called Ultra High Definition Wax. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the product and seeing if it lives up to all the good things that I've heard about it so far. Guess that I am wrong or how we're close now I've been making my amends Come and see Where have you been off to now? Wait for me Dear beloved, lend me light As I wander off into the night Welcome back to the channel guys. So Autoglim have released a new wax, the ultra high definition wax. Let's run through the basics of what this product is giving you. So first of all, it's 54.99 for this 120 milliliter pot. It comes with their own kind of applicator. I haven't seen this applicator around. It looks like they've developed it for use with this particular product. It fits into the top of this product perfectly. The applicator is very nice actually. It's a stiff foam on the top and the bottom is like a dense soft foam that you actually use to apply the wax with. Really good applicator. And our Auto Glim Terry Cloth to buff the product off of the panel once you've, once you've applied it. They are also, um, there's a card in here saying there's a new Auto Glim app for your kind of smartphone. If you've got a smartphone, I'm still, still in the dark ages, um, where you can sort of upload pictures of you using the products and your results. Um, you can learn, keep in touch with any new developments, any new products from Autoglim and stuff like that. So what do Autoglim say about this wax on their kind of product description? They don't give too much away. They never do. You know, they probably, probably know the industry better than most. They've been in it for many, many years. And, um, you know, it's not always a good idea to go into too much detail about what's in your product. They keep it quite simple. What, what's different from the HD wax? Well, all they tell you is that they are using a different um, Carnuba. So they're using a, a, a white Carnuba, um, a more highly refined Carnuba. And I know a little bit about that because I wanted to get some of this. And uh, it's a bit more expensive than your normal T1 grade Carnuba that has like a yellow hue. A hue, is that the right word? A yellow colour to it. Um, there's another grade where they kind of bleach out the... The, the 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 color to make it white but also refine it more uh, it's very hard to get hold of if you're just like a guy in your garage doing this because you've got to order quite a lot of it it's not readily available unlike like the t1 carnuba stuff so that's nice and it also gives them a pure white finish to the wax so there's none of that kind of yellowiness in there so i quite quite like that so it looks like a, almost like a montan blend but it's not it's just a different um base Carnuba that's harder to get hold of. So that's the first thing. And that, that is about the only clue they give away in the, um, in the uh, product description about what's different in the wax. But there are a lot of other things different with this product to their HD wax. And we'll go through that when we talk about the performance. What else with the basic stuff? Auto Glim advised that the, um, the ultra high definition wax is compatible with their super resin polish. You know, their kind of gloss enhancer, filler, polish that you can use by hand or by machine. It works still quite nice by machine. I, I, I machined it over the bonnet just to demo and see if it's compatible, if there's any application problems, and there isn't. They actually feel similar to buff off the panel, which we'll talk about later on as well. So you can use the HD wax with their super resin polish. They also advise that you can use the HD wax on top of their synthetic extra gloss protection sealant but they don't recommend it that you do that. And I'm not sure why. It's probably because the, the ultra high definition wax is also offering six months durability. So what are you getting when you put it on top of the, the sealant? Um, and um, the answer probably is not actually that much. So use one or the other with these particular products. If you want a synthetic sealant, um, then you go with the extra gloss protection. If you want a Carnuba paste wax, which tend to be more popular, then you go with the ultra high definition wax. 
Next up, I wanna just talk about the application of this wax, and this is pretty basic. There is nothing you need to worry about with the application. No special real things. You can hurl this wax on your car if you want to and buff it off without reading the instructions. Don't do that, this is supposed to be a good video. You know, you're supposed to know what I'm talking about. Also, Glim Advise, you take the, their, their applicator that comes with the product, you mist some water over the applicator first, okay? So you get the surface of that applicator damp. That, that stops you really from picking up too much product and all that product building up in, in like the surface pores of the wax. Just makes the surface of the applicator and the wax less compatible, so you get smaller amounts of wax on there. Also means that the applicator will glide a little bit smoother over the surface. So it's a good idea, I followed that process of misting. Then they just say you take the applicator, sit it on top of the wax, and just give a quarter of a turn twist to pick up some wax. Don't bury the applicator in there and start shuffling it around, because you'll just load up tons of wax on that applicator and you'll put on way too thick a layer. It doesn't, there's no benefits to putting on a thick layer of wax. It's the very bit on the surface which bonds and is left behind after buffing. So the thinner you can put it on, the easier it is to, to, uh, to work over the panel and uh, the less product you're wasting really. It's just still easy to buff off even if you go hurling it on as well. So it's mainly just to, to use the product efficiently and not waste wax and put too much on the surface. Um, once you've applied the wax over your car, this particular wax, you could go around the entire car. You do not need to stop and do one panel and wait for a cure. Go and apply it to the entire car and then they say the wax needs 10 to 15 minutes to cure and then you buff off. By the time you've gone around the car, you'd find where you've started is probably dried and you could buff that straight off. It, it, it comes, um, when it cures, it goes to a lighter white haze and it has a drier feel to it. You can touch it with your fingers and if it's, if it's dry and the sort of top crust moves and you can see the gloss underneath, it's ready to buff off. If it's still, um, if it's still sort of, you know, waxy and loose, it hasn't cured. The product cures pretty rapidly actually, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So very easy to apply, and Auto Glim have done a nice video on application if you wanna watch that as well. So let's talk a little bit about the chemistry of this wax now, guys. So Auto Glim have given us one card or one clue that they're using this white high grade Carnuba that's difficult to get your hands on, um, and you don't see it in too many waxes and it's, and it's expensive. I also think, and I could be wrong with all this, I'm just guessing as kind of like a wax maker myself, I think there's a bit of Montan wax in there, and I also think there's some paraffin wax in there, and I think that is it, that is it. I don't think there's any other waxes in there, could, could be completely wrong, but none of those other organic waxes, they've got little signature marks, um, I don't think they're in there. I think they're using three main waxes. Next thing is carriers. Now, this is interesting, I don't think they're using any organic oil in this at all. They may well not have done in their HD wax. Now, when you use oil in with, with a wax, one thing it does is it stops that product ever really fully dry curing. So with the Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Wax, when you lay this out on the panel and you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes, you get a complete dry cure. So it will go to a white haze and this white, haze that's left on top it's almost like a meringue it's incredibly soft you can buff it off with your finger to reveal the gloss it's so soft but when you go over it with a microfiber it all comes off the panel with no kind of resistance or oiliness and you don't need to work it it's very very nice to remove this wax it's got a clever carrier system in it so i think they're probably using some sort of synthetic um volatile carrier that is that means that when the cure happens, they're not left with this kind of greasy mixture of oil and wax, and it makes the product very good to remove. It also means there's less oil in the blend, the, the, the stuff that's left on your car behind. And when you get an oily wax, those waxes can be really affected by detergent, like the old school kind of oil carried waxes, to the point where that wax that oily wax, when you first apply it, looks great. You know, it's got all this oil in it, but as soon as you hit it with detergents, you you really, really break that wax down um, to the point where you lose like a massive chunk of the percentage of the performance. And that was one of the first things I tested in this video, laying out the Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Wax onto a test panel with a, a, a proper retail um, wax that is 
using wax and oil as a carrier, left both the products for like 15, 20 minutes, buffed them off, left the panel um, overnight for 24 hours just to settle down. And the next day, poked some water at the product. Both of them are repellent on, on, um, on application. You can see the Autoglim product is more repellent, it's throwing the water off the car where the other one's kind of just pushing it away. So there's less of that kind of reactive push. But the biggest difference is the, the wax and oil product, when I hit that for the first time with detergents, just, just wiped it gently with a, with a detergent, a pH neutral detergent, let it sit there for about a minute, rinsed it off. The wax and oil based product was, was, was dead, okay? It killed the performance hitting it with detergents. And that's one of the biggest problems that you can get with waxes, especially the purely organic ones that are just wax and oil. The Autoglim product, for whatever reason, is part of the formulation, not just the fact that it's not using oil, but after you've washed it, it can resist the detergent and seems to still maintain that repellency. So that's how it's gonna get its durability. So that's clever stuff. And, and you'll see that for yourself. So this wax will not be killed by washing it with car shampoos and stuff like that. That's not to say you can't kill it if you hit it with sort of like high alkaline stuff, you know, and harsh cleaners. So you've always got to try and maintain your wax. But this product seems to have a really, really good level of um, detergent resistance and hydrophobic qualities that it's able to hold on to. Okay, guys, so the next thing I want to delve into with this wax is the pros and cons. Now, we have to do this to review this properly. So I want to start with the negatives. The obvious one, and probably the one that it's going to get attacked for the most, is the price. So it's $54.99, as I can see on the Autoglim site, for 120 milliliters of wax. So that's not cheap. That's the first thing to say. It's not a cheap wax. Now, in terms of price, Autoglim were never going never gonna to price this below the HD wax. You know, this, this, is, this is an ultra HD wax. It's supposed to be an improvement on their existing formula. So it would be pretty dumb to price it below that because that's making a statement that the wax isn't as good as the one that they've already put out there. And this is better than HD wax, okay? HD wax is good, it's nice to use, but this has got more performance, more gloss, better quality ingredients and newer kind of technologies, you know. So it's, an, it's a step up from HD wax. It's gonna be more expensive. There are products, there are companies out there that are charging you 100 to 200 pounds for a tub of organic wax, you know, wax and oil. So we can, we can you know, if you want to start delving into that can of worms, we can. But it's priced more as a statement of intent about where Autoglim value it. And they will sell a ton of it, regardless of what, you know, people moaning about the price will say. Um, you know, it is roughly a little bit above market average price for a wax. Next, the next negative, Autoglim advise not to get this or to avoid getting this on any kind of trim and rubber on your car because of the fact that it leaves that powdery res residue. And some products that can be a problem and if it's allowed to dry, it can be a bit of a nightmare. So what I thought I'd do is I'd get the product, put loads of it onto a bit of my trim and rubber on the Golf, let it dry for 10 minutes and see how difficult it was to remove. Well, one swipe of the microfiber and all that white powder comes straight off. Just underneath the white powder, I could see like where the, the wet side of the product had sort of stuck on the rubber. So I used um, a cleanser fluid and just went over that once and that was gone. So, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about getting this on trim and rubber. It comes off very, very easily. I think Autoglim say you can use their fast glass system to clean it off if you get it off on rubber or trim. But basically you can use any sort of form of alcohol cleaner or, um, you know, spirit-based cleaner like the built hem Hamber cl cleanser fluid, and that just it's gone. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But avoid getting it on, avoid getting it on rubber and trim for 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 those reasons. You know, it's not designed to go on those surfaces. The next thing is I want to go into the pros. Okay, now this is probably one of the best waxes to buff off a panel that I've ever used. The only thing that gets close to it with that lightness. Um, and that kind of fluffy cure, it's kind of hard to describe. The only other wax that gets close to it is, is, is Swiss wax. That's the only other wax that I've used that has this fluffy quality to it and just buffs back to a complete shine with none of that kind of smeariness. Now I know Swiss wax use oil as well, so they've got, they've got a good 
blending understanding to make their waxes light and easy to remove. But this stuff, this stuff, the way it buffs off a panel is really impressive. If you let it dry and buff it back, it just cannot smear, it cannot drag. The only other thing that it can do is if you apply too much of it, you can get those little sort of crumbs, if you like, of white residue that, you know, little flakes of whiteness, a bit like the super resin polish. So if you put it on thin, you won't get that. If you do put it on thick, you know, you, you might just see a couple of little bits of white wax. So just, you know, just buff those and off the panel if you get those. But it's one of the best waxes to remove that you will ever, ever use. And uh, I'd be interested to see if anyone doesn't like the way this buffs off a panel. There, there won't be anyone that doesn't unless it's just a pure auto blim hater. There are a few of them out there. Um, tied into that, it's a completely non-smearing formula. Okay, so dry haze, light buff, no smear, and it buffs back to a real, a really high gloss. You know, probably more gloss than their HD wax. When we did the mega test over at Auto Glim, we had, I don't know, about 30 odd waxes lined up that we did all this gloss testing on. And HD wax came fourth in that gloss test. And we're talking, you know, tenths of a GU between the top four. So it was right up there at the top, you know. So Autoglim know how to formulate, measure gloss, develop the wax so that it actually delivers on that. And now they've got a new wax, which they are saying adds more gloss. So, you know, it's going to be right up there with the amount of gloss that this product can add. And you will see it as well, guys. The Golf, which is, you know, not the nicest looking car in the world. I maintain that very simply. And throwing this wax on that Golf made it look really nice and glossy. Um, so it delivers on gloss and it's non-smearing on removal. Next things, as I've mentioned before, this wax has got very good hydrophobic qualities. Um, and it maintains those hydrophobic qualities and that's really popular you know if you've been following any detailing forums or Facebook groups in the last sort of few years there's a massive kind of focus on on beading and, and hydrophobic properties of waxes and I think Autoglim um, have delivered you know they're probably aware of that demand and have delivered a wax that, that gives you that hydrophobic quality that you want it's way more hydrophobic than HD wax for me um, so it's got some sort of clever um, hydrophobic polymer in there or some sort of component to add to that. Ultra HD wax is definitely worthy of the ultra title in front of its, its uh, precursor, the HD wax. The HD wax served Autoglim well for decades. The ultra um, HD wax is going to serve them well in the future, I think, as well, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. As always, let me know. There's going to be there's going to be thousands and thousands of people around the country and around the world buying this wax. It's going to be a very popular product that's that is that is used a hell of a lot. So let me know in the comments what you think of it and your impressions of it. The comments are always a good kind of sanity check for me. I don't. I, I'm always careful about really singing the praises of something um, where there could be issues. So I'll only do it. If there aren't issues, and I'm impressed with it. So I think this is pretty fantastic, this stuff. But let me know what you think in those comments, and, and that will be really useful to me. Um, lots more to come on the channel, guys. I'm midway through doing some ceramic stuff. I'm going to be spending quite a lot of time today doing some more testing on the ceramic coatings and getting some more videos out on that. So there's lots more to come on the channel. Take care. See you soon. And uh, bye for now.